Hello, hello. Good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to my channel. This is Miss JD for our Monday episode of our daily stock market insights. And in this video, I'm going to uh, quickly cover just one second. Uh, well, I just want to first open the comments. Ayun. Punta tayo dito. Tungnan natin. Ayan. <clears throat> okay, so uh, just to uh, go back. Uh, I'm Miss JD. I do review stocks in the Philippine market, US market, sometimes cryptocurrency. So if you have a request uh, pro probably a stock you're closely monitoring or you're invested in, feel free to drop a comment or any question related to the stock market or related to your journey, drop a comment, let me know your thoughts so we can uh, tackle it here. And by the way, I'm not a guru. That means um, the answers I'll be giving you will be based on what I know, what I've uh, experienced in the past. These are all practical advices because like you, I am still in this journey. Every day is a learning experience for all of us. Uh, every day, the market gives us a unique setup. That's why I do record these insights every day because I go back to it and watch the video after the market closes. Okay, so uh, going back um, to the index, right? In my last video over the weekend, I said I said that this could be a make or break day because uh, we ended Friday sitting at the MA20 line. Okay, so what does it mean? So that could be acting as a support when uh, we start moving above the MA20, MA20 gets acts as a support like this one. Uh, but once we go below that, that will act as a resistance. That means you get rejected at the MA20. In this scenario, we officially crossed the MA20 line. What does that mean? So the moment we cross the MA20 line, there could be a continuation going down. And in this scenario, uh, we are looking at the nearest one would be around uh, this level, 6,447. And uh, why did I say that? If you look to the left, the nearest accumulation I see is somewhere at that area. So each time the price level gets hit, there's a you know slight bounce that's happening until one day it officially crossed the MA20 line. And if you look further to the left, it's the same pattern right there. And you have to also take note, it could be slightly higher or lower. This means that the 6447 is not the exact placement. Could be a little higher or lower, but in short, okay, there will be a continuation going down that's my bias for tomorrow and what does that mean this is the index so our PSEI is composed of the 30 plus companies uh, mostly blue chip or these are blue chip companies uh, top players in the country that uh, uh, comprise the index so expect that your banks, your Jollibees, your BDOs, and uh, some other uh, companies will be either profit-taking or on a decline. But the isa isa natin yan, okay? But just take note of the key levels. Now I want to proceed with your questions. Okay, ito unahin natin. Ah, actually. This video was inspired by Renato's question over here. So I created this and then <clears throat> see Gus, uh, he asked, Hi ma'am, ask ko lang kung anong best gawin sa picor ko. Ito si picor, matagal ko na tong nakikita. Eh, grabe ilang taon. Decline. Uh, paper loss ko is 56%. My average is 7.55. Nabili ko siya nung biglang matanggal siya sa index. Sinabayan pa ng pandemic, hindi ako nakapag-cut loss. Maas ang babalik sa 7, but now 335 na lang siya. Halos 5 years ko hawak. Ano po gagawin ko? Hold average down or let go na? Right now, picker is negative 91k. Okay, balik tayo dito. 
titingnan natin si Picor. Ang tanong ko kay Picor, titingnan natin muna siya in terms of ang kanyang fundamentals. Okay, positive siya, no? Dito may slight dip but in the billions. And this is Petron. Maybe we can ask ourselves, do you think Petron will go bankrupt in the next few years? Possibly ba? Kasi ang, uh, although may, may point din dito si Ricardo, uh, pag alam mong medyo taglid na yung stock, huwag ka na mag-average down kasi lalo ka lang may stock niyan. Mga ako lang ha, mag-let go na lang ako tapos dapat makabawi sa ibang stocks. Ayun. You have a, a point there as well, pero kailangan natin muna tanungin si Gus. Gus, willing ka ba? If this is your negative right now, willing mo bang i-let go ito? Ang 91,000 to totally say goodbye to that. Okay? Because cutting loss will only work if you're able to exit quickly within that threshold that you've set. Pero kung hindi, you, you ask yourself again, you evaluate the situation, bakit ma ba ako pumasok dito to begin with? Kasi if I believed in the fundamentals, right, negative sentiment lang siya, kunwari for so many years, pero kung feeling mo, andun na siya sa level na possibly na siyang, nagsistart na siya, accumulate or akyat, you can consider averaging down. Pero, ang ituturo ko sa'yo, slowly, uh, you average down, at the same time, you will be locking in gains. I hope that makes sense. I say, for example, if you just zoom in to this scenario over here, kung pumasok ka at this price level at nakapag-exit ka, that's a good 50-49%. Right? Makes sense? So, kung kunwari, bumili ka kasi medyo kinakabahan ka na kasi ang laki na na na-invest mo at mag-average down ako kunwari. Right? But I'm not saying na ngayon mo gagawin yan kasi medyo bearish ang market. Just look at this scenario over here. Itong period na ito. Yan. So, dyan ang period na kung naisipan mong mag-average down, ito sana yung period na best. Kasi, uh, what will happen here? Kunwari lang nagpumasok ka ng 1,000 shares dito. 1,000 shares, so that's 333 1, 2, 3 Okay, sandali ah, calculator So, 3 Kunwari lang you entered right at the uh, 241 2.41 Times 1,000 shares So, malit nga lang yan Kunwari lang yan, 1,000 shares Para mas madaling i- explain 241 that gives you 2410 ngayon umakyat yung umakyat yung presyo magla-lock in gain ka hindi mo ilalock in yung nauna mong pinasok at ay 7 peso you have to only consider in your mind the 1000 shares that you bought at 2.41 kasi pag nangyari yon pro profitable ka kunwari nag-exit ka ng 3.74 3.74 times 1000 minus 2.410 that gives you a profit of 1330 the effect of that syempre slowly Habang nag-in, out, in, out ka ngayon, pababa ng pababa ang average mo. But, you have to take note para hindi ka, hindi cut loss yung mangyayari. You have to take note of the 7 peso level na, na, na kung saan ka pumasok. Tandaan mo na at this level, 7.54 ba? 7.54. 55. Tandaan mo na yu, pumasok ka ng uh, lagay natin 10,000 shares dito. 
at mag at, at i-exit mo lang siya kapag lumampas na siya sa, sa average price mo na where you bought it initially. Again, while you're getting in and out here, para kang nag uh, uh, nag intraday dito or nag uh, position trading ka dito in the short term. Pasok-pasok, right? Habang nag labas pasok ka dyan, bumaba ba ang average? Pero wag kang matempt na exit mo all the way yung shares na, that you entered at the higher price. Kasi ang labas doon is cut loss. Not unless, okay? Kunwari sa sobrang dami na ng in-out, in-out mo dito at kinuwenta mo yung gain ko dito umabot na ng 50,000 kunwari. Oh, ngayon, he wanna totally exit. So, ang mangyayari niyan, edi yung loss mo, you managed to reduce that with that game, with that strategy. Okay? Uh, this one, that only works sa mga you think talaga na uh, stock that you, first of all, believed in, kaso lang, grabe lang talaga ang market sentiment na pabagsak siya. Right? So, maybe this could be a, another example kasi I don't think Petron is gonna go bankrupt in the next 10 years. Kahit if in out in out mo yan in the next 10 years i'm telling you mababawi mo siya hindi siya ganun ka extreme na sobrang taas and i was expecting na ito kasi oh mas mataas pa siya previously eh hoda na mabaga lang eh you know buti hindi ka nakapasok somewhere at this level so my chance pa yan my chance pa yan it's just it's just that oh 2019 ilang all oh, Ako, honestly, this is a, a scenario that I am in right now sa dito naman. Dito, I wa, my average is 7 pesos. But because I was not able to, I was not able to exit right away because I was also working and then ko siya nabantayan, bumagsak nang siya nang bumagsak. So, I'm just, um, Still thinking, the process of thinking, kung worth it ba itong dagdagan to average down at laruin ko yung uh, method that I shared to you right now. So I'm just getting that perfect timing. Inaabang ako nga bumalik siya sa 1 peso eh. Kasi pag bumalik siya ng 1 peso, mas malalaro ko talaga siya ng, um, you know, position trading. At pag naka umakyat siya kunwari ng mga, I don't know, 3 peso, then I lock in. I take profit. Based on the number of shares, I entered at around 1 point, let's say 1.36. So that's your way of exiting uh, a badly beaten stock dahil sobrang decline. I hope, I hope that, that, um, that makes sense. And for, for some, hindi nila... Gameplay yan, but for others, if they know na support area na to, posibleng magbabounce na to at this level, nalalaro nila ng ganyan. And uh, I was able to execute that as well nung naipit ako sa MRC noon. And I was able to clear that out, ending profitable uh, with MRC. Okay, so medyo mahaba yung explanation ko sa, sa topic na yan. But... Let me go ahead and just record a separate video uh, for the other stocks para hindi naman medyo dragging and they, they also get to listen to uh, the other uh, stocks right up front. But I hope I was able to answer your question, uh, Gus. And thank you for your insights, Ricardo. Really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, let's uh, wrap this up and I'll record another video. We'll break it into two parts so we can also cover the other stocks. We have another set of comments here. Uh, we'll discuss that in the next video. Bye-bye for now.